Hello, and welcome to Alliance Abroad Group's how-to tutorial on creating a Skype account. In this video, we will show you not only how to download and install the Skype software, but how to create an account and how to add your first contact. Let's get started. First things first, let's head over to www.skype.com. That's S-K-Y-P-E dot com. Right on the very first page, you should see a big green button titled Download Skype. Go ahead and click that. Now I am working on a Mac, but the steps should be the same for a PC. Select the device you are downloading Skype to. In this instance, like I mentioned, we are using a Mac, so we're gonna select a computer. Next, click the next big green button that says Get Skype. This should prompt your computer to run the program. At this point, every computer may be slightly different, so just follow the instructions on the screen. Steps 1, 2, and 3 will help you complete the installation. Next, we are going to create our account. To do this, you want to go to the top right corner of the page, and you should see the Join Us link. Go ahead and click that. Here, you will see there are three ways to create an account. The first option is to use an existing Microsoft account. If you already use Hotmail.com, then this is a great option for you, as this will also allow you to import your Microsoft contacts directly into Skype. More on that later. Second is to use your existing Facebook account. This also will provide you the ability to import your existing Facebook contacts. Again, we'll touch on that a bit later. Lastly, you can manually input your information, which is what we are going to do. Start with typing in your name and your email address. Next, you'll see there is an area to create a profile. Please note that not all fields are required. Those that are required will be denoted by an asterisk. List how you plan to use Skype. We recommend the personal setting. Next, you will select your Skype display name and create a password. Decide if you want to be notified by Skype regarding any upcoming promotions. By leaving this selected, you will be added to Skype's mailing list. Next, you want to verify that you are a person by inputting the verification code. If you cannot read the verification code, there are other options available. Finally, click Agree, and if everything is filled out correctly, you are ready to go and you have created your Skype account. Once your account is created, you will need to launch the Skype software. For Mac and PC users, you should see the Skype icon in your Applications folder or Applications tray. Go ahead and launch the software and input your username and password. Once you are in, you will have the option to search an address book. This will go through your contact lists in Hotmail or Facebook if you set your account up via those channels. Let's go ahead and set up our first contact. Select the Contact tab on the left. The first thing you will see is the option to do what is called a Skype phone call test. We recommend doing this as it will help you to test your microphone, your speakers, and your webcam. Now let's go ahead and add a contact. We're going to add an employee here at AAG by clicking the add a contact button on the top. In the search section, we will input his username. Once that person has been found, Select the green button, which has a little person icon and a plus sign inside of it. This will bring up a dialog box. We encourage you to include more information than the standard message if you are reaching out to someone you don't know for the first time. Let them know why you want to contact them and what this is in regards to. This will show them that you are not a spam bot and that you are a real person. Once a connection is made, there is nothing left to do but make your first video call by clicking on the phone button. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and we hope to see you on Skype real soon. Have a great day and thanks for watching.